This example asks us to find the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. So how in the world am I going to go about doing that? Well, remember, what we've done in this chapter before is that we need to actually define a inverse as something. And we're going to use some letters. We're going to use W, X, Y, and Z. So I've got those. And I know that based on what we did before, I've got a 2 by 2 in the original, and this is also a 2 by 2. I know that if I multiply A and A inverse, that gives me the multiplicative inverse. So we need to do that to find W, X, Y, and Z. So that says I need to multiply them together. So I'm going to have my original, which is the 5, and a 2, and a 7, and a 3. And I'm going to multiply that by W, X, Y, and Z. And then I'm going to set it equal to what does the multiplicative inverse look like? What's well, got the ones on the diagonal? So it looks like this. Well, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to apply my rules over here on the left. So I'm going to take, we know it's a 2 by 2, and so our answer is also going to be a 2 by 2. So I take row 1, column 1. So I'm going to have 5w plus 7y. And then I take row 2, column 1, and I'm going to have 2w plus 3y. And do the same for the second. I've got 5 and 7 and x and z, so now I'm going to have 5x plus 7z, and then 2x plus 3z. So that's how we can simplify that aspect. And then this is going to equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. So the only thing that we have left to do now is we can set each place, we've got the equal sign, that's our key, so we're going to set each place equal to its corresponding on the right hand side. So what I mean by that is this first term corresponds with a 1, this one corresponds with a 0, and so forth. So that becomes 5w plus 7y equals 1. 5x plus 7z equals 0. We're going to have a 2w plus 3y equals 0. And a 2x plus 3z equals 1. So what do we need to do now? Well, now we're going to have to do some something. These are a system of equations, so we're going to have to eliminate variables or we're going to have to do some substitution. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clear the screen off and move these up to the top so when you come back we can have a whole screen to do this in. So I've moved the equations we got at the bottom, I've moved them up to the top, I put them back in the same form as the matrix, I'm really sorry that I didn't do that before. Um, so this way my W and Y equations are together and then my X and Z are together on the other side. So what I need to do is I'm going to, for me it makes more sense, I think I want to try to eliminate variables. So let's look at the two on the left. If I want to get rid of either W or Y, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to pick W, and I need to multiply by the least common multiple, so I'm going to have to find the factors that give me that. So if I've got 5 and 2, I multiply those together, I get 10. So I'm going to take the top one and multiply it by 2, and then I'm going to mu multiply the bottom one by minus 5. So when I do that, I get 10W plus 14Y equals 2. And then I get minus 10w minus 15y equals 0. So now I can add down, so the w's will cancel, and that gives me minus y equals 2, and y will equal to minus 2. Okay, so so far so good, so let's do the same thing now. I can actually substitute this back in, or I can solve the one on the right. So I'm going to choose to substitute it back in, because I can go ahead and find W. So I can do 5W plus 7 times minus 2 equals 1. So 5W minus 14 equals 1. 5W equals 15. So W equals 3. So I've got those two answers right there. Now I need to do the same thing that I did over here on the right. So now this time I think I want to get rid of x, so I'm going to multiply this by 2, and then I'm going to multiply this one by minus 5. So that's going to give me 10x plus 14z equals 0, 
and I'm going to get minus 10x minus 15z equals minus 5. Now you've probably seen the pattern already, and if you do, that's great, but I want you to make sure you understand how we're getting that. So this becomes minus z equals minus 5, so z equals 5. So I have the z, now I need to find the x, so I'm going to plug that back in. So I'm going to get 5x plus 7 times 5 equals 0. I'm going to get 5x plus 35 equals 0. 5x equals minus 35. And then I've got x equals minus 7. So now I've got those two values. Now recall from what I have actually erased, originally we said that a to the minus 1 equaled and we did w, x, y, and z. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to plug in the values that I just found for each of those. So a minus 1 equals, so we said w was 3, we said x was minus 7, y was minus 2, and z was 5. So this is the multiplicative inverse of the given.